Hi friends. So it's the end of the day and I just realized I never made an intro today. I don't know if it was all the excitement or something and I just didn't make an intro. But today, what I do, which I'm not gonna tell you like everything because then why even bother watching because it wouldn't even be that great. Today, I try to go eat at Captain Cook's, realize there's nothing on the menu I would ever eat. Then I go over to the Contemporary, have some food, and then we're going to try to do every attraction in Fantasyland and see if we can get them all done in two hours and like 40 minutes, two hours and 40 minutes at the time that I start filming. Let's go do it. It's another beautiful day, and you know what park pass was available for us? Magic Kingdom again. So we went to the Polynesian to go eat at Captain Cook's, and I found nothing on the menu that I would ever eat in a million years, but I didn't realize that I wouldn't like anything. So now we're taking a journey. We're going to go to the Grand Floridian. We're not going to go there. Maybe later we will. And then we're going to get off at Magic Kingdom, take the monorail, go over to Contempo Cafe because I am hungry for some sandwiches. I would love to go in here right now, but that's just not what we're doing right now. Oh, I almost thought it said it, that the monorail wasn't in operation, but it said the Epcot monorail is not in operation. How lucky, just in time. The only problem is, is what number do we want? Um, uh, 14. 14 sounds good. Oh, I picked a crummy seat, get it? So when I was mobile ordering my sandwich, they kept asking me if I wanted the cookies and cream monorail cupcake, and I'm like, yes, I really do. But I opted out, even though I really do want it. And I like this little uh, display thing that they've got going on here. This even looks good. I love the little bead things. Okay, here it is. I don't know what this looks like. I've never seen it before. I picked it out because it was simple. Let's see. It's a, it's a boy. <laughs> also, look at this cute little lanyard thing that I got to put on. Um, my cards in because I lost my debit card and my ID again last week. It's like the millionth time. And it's because I always keep them in like my side pocket here. All right, we got the sandwich. Again, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Two bites, everybody knows the new rules. I do not like this. Yeah. I know you guys think I complain a lot, but I had to take this back up. This is the bacon. The turkey is just icky. I didn't love this at all. Okay, so uh, dinner was like a little bit of a bust, which is fine. It's not a big deal. We're gonna move on. We're gonna go over to the, um, where are we going? Oh, Magic Kingdom. Now we're gonna go, right now. Look at these sweatpants things. They are so, so cute. They have like tiki room, small world, teacup, snackies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I've never seen them before till right now at this very moment. How much are they? Because I don't need them, but I want them. $36.99. My budget is zero, so we're not getting those. I just realized it would have been so simple and probably much faster if we just would have walked from the contemporary, but I wasn't thinking and I just walked right into the the security line and I just we could have been in there by now no worries we are not gonna let anything get us down ever again in our life we're gonna be the happiest people and have our best lives ever we're here beautiful here it comes this one's my favorite monorail and as soon as we walk in we've got Woody's roundup we've got this beautiful train station thing. I would love to own that. I would use it and like cover my garage at home with it. I don't have a garage, but I would. First thing I always have to do every time I get into every single park is exchange my little peely rod thing. All right, we're going to start off our day here in my favorite land of all. Even though the last vlog, I kind of did all of Tomorrowland. But it's like I'm still craving doing the people mover because it's been so long. So I think we're gonna go do the people mover first if the line's not crazy. And then we could try to do all the rides in Fantasyland. That'd be fun. All right, scratch the people mover idea. Plans have changed as per usual. So obviously the vlog's going great if the plans have already changed in the first like five minutes. 
the line is way too long. It's like a 50 minute wait. So we're gonna go to start our tomorrow, our, not tomorrow land, our fantasy land ride marathon. We have three, oh my gosh, we don't have three hours. We have two hours and 40 minutes because it's 6.20, the park closes at nine. We might not be able to do this, but we're gonna try. Okay, our first ride we're coming across is the tea party and it said it was five minutes. Definitely is not five minutes. It's all the way wrapped around here. No, it's 15 here. The app said five, but it's 15. Teacups is still to be done because somebody has upchucked on the platform and uh, they're cleaning it up and that's probably gonna take a little while and we only have two and a half hours so we are going to go do Dumbo and get that one done because it's the furthest away anyway. All right, so Dumbo looks promising. It says 10 minutes. We're loading every Dumbo or Packy Dern. So I think that we can, this will be good. This will be a good first one. Okay, the line is inside. Like we're waiting inside, queued up here with the lights. The playground is still closed down for COVID, but I'm ready for it to open. It's one of the best playgrounds I've ever been on. Okay, time is going super duper fast. I'm getting a little nervous, but we should be in the next corral. All right, we were on the next one. I'm so excited. I wanted to get a pink one, but I'm not seeing a pink one open. I guess we can settle with this like purpley sky bluish one. Yeah, that'll do. We have got a beautiful sunset. I was thinking sunrise for some reason. Obviously it's not, but Little Mermaid's next. 10 minutes, let's see if we walk right on. It was a 100% walk on. Okay, it's 7.15. We did a few things already. I kind of want to do Winnie the Pooh and get that done and then work our way through this way. Welcome to another episode of Veronica's The Biggest Idiot and didn't charge any of her batteries and our backup batteries better than our first battery. Oh boy, okay. So Pier Pan is at, what, 20 minutes? Okay, um, definitely doable. All right, next on this list of everything we have to do in Fantasyland, we're gonna do Peter Pan. Is that 20 minutes? I think it is because, oh, I don't know, maybe not. This effect's like never working, but like right now it's kind of working. Like it's like an A for effort, maybe a D for effort. Actually, it's a fail. That was not even 25 minutes. All right. Mission accomplished, and it was less than 20 minutes, which is even a bonus. Oh. Gorgeous, just absolute. that looks like the lamp of Aladdin's lamp, or a swan riding a turtle. This actually might happen. 15 minute wait, I mean, I don't know. I have good feelings about it. We have an hour left. So all that we have left to do is Winnie the Pooh, the carousel, mine train, which is definitely going to be last. I've got a really good feeling about this one. Oh wait, we have an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, this is so, this is going to happen. There's my pretty baby. There she is. Nice mascara. Are those falsies? What's the brand you're using, girlfriend? If I were to point out a favorite scene here, and it's a 
small world. I would have to go with this one right here. You got everybody dancing around with their birds on a stick. You got the inner ladies dancing around with their flowers in a basket. You got the chicken playing the trumpet, the cactus playing guitar, the ox playing the thing, the other thing playing the other thing. So much going on. Oh my gosh, the cowboy's back. I remember last time the cowboy was not here, but he's arrived. He's back home. Oh, he's blurry. But he's here. Oh, there he is. Um, yep, I forgot that today I'm wearing my um, Small World Magic Band, which matches this scene that's not showing clearly at all, and it's just a big blur. Um, yeah. All right, our game plan, the strategy that we have left for the rest of the day. We're gonna go do the carousel, go over to Winnie the Pooh, and then as soon as we get off Pooh, we're gonna dart for Mind Train because we have 50 minutes to get this all accomplished. Slowly, my hopes and dreams of doing this have been shattered because the line is extremely long. I think we're gonna, oh, I don't know what to do. Wow, 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 okay, I don't know. I'm not feeling so good about this. I feel like it's this is definitely a dinosaur moment. Like, like we're not gonna make it. Like, maybe if I can get on this carousel, I can. Okay, bingo, we got on this one. We're on horse number 13. I'm thrilled. We might be able to do this. If I can get over to Winnie the Pooh, get it done for the next half hour, then it stands to 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 mean we we could get on my train. I have the choice of all these lovely ladies or gentlemen, I'm not too sure, nothing showing here. Um, I like the flower one, but I also like, yeah, I like, I, li I like this one. Okay, I am so excited, I'm so excited. We are picking up some serious speed right now. This is some mad sick speed we've got here. It's pretty much like test track. Definitely like test track. Okay, we have literally a half an hour to get to poo and then get across to my train. Oh, this is heavy. And if we don't make it, I mean, hey, we don't make it. Big deal, big whoop, who cares, right? I mean, oh, I just get more and more confused every day. The line for poo goes down to like where they have the meet and greet for poo. So I stood there for like a good waste of three minutes trying to figure out how to get out of here. No, in here. It's 8.38. We're still not at Pooh Bear. I'm sorry that I let you down. Feels like we're on the edge right now. I wish that I could say I'm proud. I'm sorry that I let Myself down. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. We can, oh, I don't know. I just, I really... I don't know. One of my friends told me that I look like Pooh Bear, and all he does is eat food. I mean, it's kind of accurate a little bit because I love food and I'm like a big foodie, but his belly is just so, I mean, I guess mine is too. I mean, it's accurate. It's so accurate. Poo. It's 8.43. We can make it. We did it. We are in line. We made it. It's 8.44, so we had 15 minutes to spare. Oh, I'm a little sad that this isn't available. I used to love this thing. Like, it would light up and all these pretty blue water and red colors would come out of it. And it so fun. And this used to be like some kind of like a game where you would like put the diamonds in the thingy-majiggy and it's still pretty. Oh my goodness, it is so nice and cold in here. It was such a hot day today. It has literally been like, I don't know, maybe it's 9.04. It has been like 15 minutes and we're already at the ride. The park's not even closed yet. I have absolutely no idea why I just said the park's not even closed yet. Yes it is, it closed at 9. I don't know why I even said that because I know that. Wacko. That was awesome. And look, I'm wearing white shoes again. Even better at nighttime, so that's like a bonus thing. Okay. <laughs> 
it's, it's funny. We did it! Like, I'm super duper, like, proud. I mean, I guess proud would be the word. Because, I mean, we did every single Fantasyland ride. We did every single Fantasyland ride in two hours, which is, like, pretty impressive. Because the wait times say it's gonna be horrible, and they're not. It's, like, 9.09 .09 right now. So what do we win for doing that? Maybe we could win one cent. Just take a sniff of my boyfriend. These are my favorite, favorite moments in life. They make me so happy. And the park's completely empty. Look at this. Not a soul in sight. Just what was a, a huge line 20 minutes ago? Nothing. It's like abandoned. Teacups abandoned. A shell of what they used to be. Just a shell of nothing. Tomorrowland. Nothing. I am so thirsty right now. I cannot even handle it. I had four, four glasses of water, four Powerades. Like I know that's a lot, but I am still just dying of thirst. That just oh. For your safety, not available. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not available either, big boy. Look, I'm right there on my shoulder, creeping at me. He's the one that said he wasn't available. So guess what? I'm not available either, and I don't cry over balls. Eh? Eh? And of course, I have already bought these the other day. I love them so much. They kind of look like jammies, but I still love them. Look at this awesome new merch. This like hello summer merch. It's so cute. It's like Polynesian-y. Most most oh just add waves then they have this like little lounge fly which i don't wear those but some people love these they're like obsessed with them they'll have like walls and walls and walls of these lounge flies i just can't get into them because i think they're too small for my body so i feel weird in them and then this and then these to put like on your deck and then this pitcher to put your drinks on the deck and then these bowls so you can eat cereal on your deck and then this to carry the cereal bowl out to your deck and this to put the milk in if you need more milk for your cereal and this to have water what on earth are these oh wow oh wow oh my gosh look at how cute this is he's like hey look at how cute Sven is sleeping down there on the floor well, I didn't really quite make it for an empty Main Street because like I do have to get on the boat and like travel all the way back to the Polony. I mean, at the worst case scenario, I could definitely just take a Uber from the Contemporary over. But I mean, we did a pretty decent job. But I do have to get home to Gracie. Little Gracie Facey. I try not to stay out long every day because I always just want to make sure I get back home to Gracie. And she's waiting for me and I love her so much. So I want to be there for the love of my life. I wish I could take her to the parks because I would never leave her home. She is like my pride and joy. Oh my lucky stars and stripes. We made it just in time for the water pageant. I am so excited. Well, I, I mean, we made it for the end with the stars and the stripes, which is why I said that like little pun there. But we have to get on the boat soon. I guess the boats just drive around it like Hey, you're in my way. Oh, it's stopping right at our dock. What a lucky day for us. How lucky. The boat was already... This is like a party boat. This is beautiful. I'm super excited. And of course, I'm going right up here so I can Titanic with me, myself, and I. Every night in my dreams. I'll never let go. Ever. Yeah, I will let go. You're going to the bottom of the ocean, buddy. Eh? Right through my skull. Oh, out the other side. Oh, wait. Oops. Now. Ah. 
What a wonderful optical illusion you have just gifted us. I mean, Walt Disney Transportation is the cutest thing on earth. They have these new leggings now, and it's like Disney Transportation leggings. Like, I'm, I'm, I am like obsessed with like the transportation systems at Disney. Like, the buses, I love them. The monorails, I love them. The, the boats, I love them. I love the ferries. I, I don't know how much I love the Skyliner, but I think it's because it's so new. But yet again, it did not take away anything to add the Skyliner. I need to get a little fuzzy ball for the top of this because I'm sure right now all you're hearing is wind and you're like, Veronica, that's not even enjoyable. So I'm covering it with my hand right now. See if that even helped. Now this is something that everybody needs to know. They need to know what kind of fish they're gonna be catching out here in Bay Lake. I would hopefully catch a largemouth bass because that would be exactly what I would wanna bring home for my family if we were staying here. A really exciting also fun fact is that when you stay at the Polynesian, they actually give you fish filleting kits. And I mean, I think that's like really handy and you can grill them out if you're staying at the bungalows. I just need to do better and start really actually charging my batteries if I plan to take the camera to the parks because otherwise I'm just being foolish, foolish. Captain Cooks has failed this picky eater. There is nobody even like awake at the Polynesian right now. It's completely quiet it's just us and my battery is like dying but it's not dead like you know how all my vlogs usually end and they're just like clips and cuts 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 of like nothing or like words i made it today i made it to make an ending to this vlog and i'm well i spoke too soon hey don't do it it's doing it now it's doing this shut off thing i had a great night really good night look at the construction